If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Ellie Kate Brooks, uh, Miss Silicaga's outstanding team, joining us for a few minutes this morning. And Ellie Kate, good morning. Good morning. We're so honored to have you with us today. And tell us a little bit more about Ellie Kate Brooks. <laughs> Yes, well, my name is Ella Kate Brooks. I'm 17 years old and I'm a junior at Sylacauga High School. I'm the proud daughter of Jay and Amy Brooks and sister to Grayson Brooks. Okay, now uh, you got some grandparents too, don't you? I do. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave them out. My grandparents are Becky and Harold Brooks, my B and Pops. I love them so much. <laughs> <laughs> right, talk about uh, Miss Sylacauga's outstanding teen and uh, what it means to you of being uh, Miss Silicaga and Miss Silicaga's outstanding team. Absolutely. Well, it's an extreme honor. I'm so grateful to have this opportunity. In November, I was crowned Miss Silicaga's Outstanding Teen, and I competed with so many other girls that were so deserving. Um, and so being able to represent my community this year and being a positive voice for the young women is truly such an honor. And also allows me to compete at the Miss Alabama Outstanding Team Competition, which is in March, very coming up soon. Mm. Um, and so that's also very exciting. How long have you been competing? Not very long. I did my first pageant this July. I decided two days before that I was oh, going to wow. do it. Very last minute. Um, so Miss Silicaga was the third pageant that I've ever done. Nervous knees. Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> yes, when I bent down for them to put my crown on, my legs were shaking so badly. <laughs> oh, uh, what is your platform? My platform is Prematurity Awareness, Fighting for Their Future. It's focused on helping the almost 15 million babies that are born premature every year. And so we're really raising funds for the March of Dimes and donating those contributions there. Okay, so we've got uh, the big event coming up next weekend. And that's going to be over at Thompson High School. I know you're thrilled about that. Yes, sir. Thompson is such a beautiful campus. Uh, you're competing in the Miss Alabama Outstanding Teen Pageant. And uh, so you will arrive there, what, uh, early March or so, March 6th or something? Yes, sir. So I'll get there early Friday morning, and then I'll have my private interview Friday night. Saturday starts preliminary competition, and so I'll do evening gown, fitness, and talent at the 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock show, and then on Sunday are the finals. You'll be drained physically, emotionally, everything by the end. And then I'll take the ACT on Tuesday. Oh, so. yeah, then everything's fine, right? <laughs> oh, wow. We're, we're talking with uh, uh, Ella Kate Brooks, who is uh, a part of a uh, uh, big event coming up over at Thompson High School that will be performing arts in a beautiful, beautiful facility there. And uh, she'll be competing in Miss Alabama's Outstanding Teen how many girls are participating in this year? Any idea? There are over 40 girls. I can't remember the exact number, but there's a, there's a large um, mm -hmm. number of girls competing. So how do, you, how do you prepare for an event like this? Well, my motto is just practice, practice, practice. There's no such thing <laughs> as too much practice to me. Every day I come home, I work on my talent, I work on my fitness. And then also I've been doing private interview practices. So every Tuesday and Thursday, I have a private interview with a panel of judges, which is helping me get comfortable talking to mm -hmm. people and talking about my platform and myself as well. Uh, your platform is so important to you. Yes, sir. It truly is. You know, prematurity awareness affects so many people that you don't even know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had a cousin that was born premature, and I wasn't even aware of it till yeah. this year. Wow. Uh, Ella Kate Brooks, uh, Miss Silicaga's outstanding teen, and uh, uh, she will be participating over in uh, uh, Thompson at Thompson High School over in Shelby County. That'll be uh, next weekend. And uh, on state competition, on stage competition will be Saturday, March 7th. Now, what happens on Saturday? What, what goes on there? So on Saturday, there's two shows, one at 2 o'clock and one at 7 o'clock. At 2 o'clock, I'll be doing my evening gown and fitness. And then at the 7 o'clock show, I'll be doing my talent. And so after each show, they pre present preliminary winners of those competitions. And then on Sunday, they announce the top 15 and so on and so forth. Uh, does a... 
particular type diet go, plan go into this? Or can, <laughs> can this, we just eat as we go? I'd love to go buy McDonald's or somewhere like that. Right. <laughs> right. Well, I actually have been following a strict diet just to prepare because I know when I walk on that stage, I want to feel like the best yeah. version of myself. Yeah. So trying to stay away from fast food, my struggle has been Dr. Pepper. I drink so <laughs> much Dr. Pepper and I've just had to cut that out for my diet, which has been hard, but I know it'll help me feel better when the state competition yeah. rolls around. Talk about meeting people and 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 conversing with people. You know, you're a young lady, but you got a a, a great head on your shoulders and, and a great great future. Uh, how difficult was it to begin with in just talking to people? Well, I have always been a talker, so that wasn't much of a change for me. But I think the hardest thing is just being able to talk to different types of people. Uh -huh. And so being Miss Silicog's Outstanding Teen, I've met so many different people in our community and truly connecting with each different group has been so interesting and definitely a learning experience for me. So when did you win the honor of uh, uh, Miss Silicog's Outstanding Teen? November 23rd, a day that will always stick out in my memory. <laughs> <laughs> That's just been a few months ago too. Yes, it's not been very long at all. So what happens uh, after uh, the event over at Thompson High School? What, what's next? So after that, I'll continue promoting my platform in our community and being a positive role model. Mm -hmm. But after that, it's time for my wonderful Miss Ivy Dixon to go to Miss Alabama. So I'll support Ooh. her through that journey as well. So you're a junior at Silicon High yes, School. Sir. What's it like being a junior there? It's a fun time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a lot of different things going on at Silicaga High School. I'm involved in a lot of different clubs and activities, which keeps me very busy at school. Um, and I'm just looking forward to a great rest of the year. And you uh, twirl? Yes, sir. I'm a majorette in the Marching Aggie Band. Now, how do you balance all this stuff and keep uh, some sanity about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a very busy person. I have a very detailed planner. Um, anyone who knows me has probably seen my planner because I'm always writing in it, but it's all about time management, making time for the things that are important to me, as well as making time to, for other people as well. Who are some people has, that's positively impacted your life in, in, in events like this? I have to say my mentor, my best friend, Pam McTeer, she really encouraged me. Mm -hmm. I've to heard that name before. <laughs> <laughs> she really encouraged me to start doing pageants and has been such a guiding force throughout this journey. Yeah. Uh, your family's had to play a key role oh, in this Oh, well. absolutely. Of course, my family. They've been to all the preliminaries. My poor sister has helped me do my <laughs> nails before pageants, helped me curl my hair, but they've been so supportive, and I really appreciate that on this big journey that I've embarked on. Yeah. Now, are you involved in church anywhere here locally? Yes, sir. I go to Church of the Highlands. Okay. All right. We're talking with uh, Ella Kate Brooks. She is Miss Silicaga's Outstanding Teen, and she will be in competition for Miss Alabama's Outstanding Teen next weekend at Thompson High School Performing Arts Center. And uh, I, I guess I can go online and get tickets, right? Can I do that? Yes, sir. There's tickets available through the Miss Alabama's Outstanding Teen mm -hmm. website. Um, it's um, definite seating, so you'll have a definite spot you're supposed to sit in, but it's a huge mm -hmm. auditorium, and so there's definitely a lot of good options available. All right. What drives you? Motivation. I'm a very motivated person. Mm -hmm. I give my 110% to everything <laughs> that I do. I will never turn an assignment that's not up to my standards. Um, and so just having that motivation to be the best version of myself pushes me in everything that I do. So uh, your future after high school, talk about that a little bit. Well, I definitely plan to attend a four-year university. I'm deciding between Auburn and Alabama, mm -hmm. two very strong campuses. And then after that, I plan to go to law school to attain my Juris Doctorate and hopefully practice child advocacy. All right, fantastic. Uh, before we uh, close the show this morning, uh, uh, Ella Kate Brooks is our uh, Yes, this morning she's Miss Silicaga's Outstanding Teen, and she'll be performing at uh, Miss Alabama's Outstanding Teen coming up uh, next weekend. Uh, what would be your strong points? I would definitely say my strong points are my talking. I absolutely love talking with the judges in the you, private interview. You could have never <laughs> convinced me that you love to talk. <laughs> I good. love private interview, and then on stage question is really fun for me. I like walking across the stage and exemplifying poise, and then the on stage question is always a very fun answer. And your uh, 
17 now, junior at the high school, but what would you say to little girls who maybe you're contemplating starting the dream, the dream that you're dreaming now. Absolutely. Well, that dream is something that's very achievable. I would tell any young girl to get involved, get your feet wet and just start doing it. I mean, I never thought that this journey would take me this far, but I'm so <laughs> grateful that it has. And so starting at such a young age prepares you for your future and you can keep building upon those skills as you go through the organization. All right. Thank you so much for being Thank with us. Thank you so much. Her name uh, this morning is... Uh, uh, Ella Kate Brooks. She is a junior at Sylacauga High School. She is Miss Sylacauga's outstanding teen, and she will be participating in competition for Miss Alabama's outstanding teen pageant next weekend at Thompson High School uh, Performing Arts Center in Alabaster, Alabama. Ella Kate, thank you so much. Thank you so much. More day break right after this. <laughs>